Let me thank for Maximum PC here at GDC 2016. I'm here speaking with Razer's Jeevan. And uh, Jeevan, can you tell us about this little uh, OSVR box thing here? Great, so this is the OSVR Hacker Development Kit. Um, we announced yesterday that version 1.4, which is what I'm holding today, is now available to the public on Razer Store. Uh, we made certain improvements to the version 1.3 to come out the version 1.4. First thing we did was uh, basically add ergonomic features like the rubber nose blocker over here. Um, and we also added the silver diffuser screen over here, which essentially reduces the screen door effect and uh, minimizes pixelation. Uh, we managed to do this while keeping the price at USD $299.99. Um, with the ability to run on a mid-tier gaming PC and upwards to make VR accessible to everyone. Can, can you define what a mid-tier uh, gaming PC is? is that uh, About a GTX 600 and above. Of course, um, this strongly depends on the content that you are playing. Um, you know, just like, just like PC games, you have optimal kind of playing experience and you have a minimum playing experience. But you can get into VR with this headset on a GTX 600 and above. Okay, and then, uh, you know, for a long time you guys positioned yourself as like a hacker development kit. Is it, is it still just a dev kit or is it, uh, you know, meant for consumers as well? So the OSVR Hacker Development Kit really started as a native headset to support development for the OSVR ecosystem. But as we went through the iterations, I mean, we had IPD adjusters initially um, that allowed you to kind of configure the horizontal and vertical um, um, configuration of the lenses to your eyes. But we then changed it to um, just focal adjusters. And we continued do, doing these increments. And right now, we're at the stage at, although it is still a dev kit, it is very accessible to mainstream consumers to actually purchase and get into VR. Okay, can you talk about the, the headset's uh, specs and it's, the resolution and the refresh rate and things like that? Right, so it's running a full HD 1080p um, display, low persistence. It's got, like I mentioned, a screen diffuser film to minimize uh, screen door effect and uh, reduce pixels. It's running um, custom crafted um, optics that have less than 13% distortion, comes with focal adjusters, and it's got a custom FPGA within that allows programmers and developers to actually tweak things like latency and performance. Cool, I mean, can you talk about the, the mission statement of, of OSVR? Like I noticed you guys are like really all about the open source. Can you delve into that a little bit? All right, so um, the main reason why OSVR exists is to make the VR industry succeed. Um, OSVR is essentially an ecosystem that is unified by our software platform and we've been working very hard since the beginning of last year to get part different partners, VR headset partners, uh, input peripheral partners, technology partners, software partners together on this ecosystem so that when VR actually goes mainstream, consumers will have a choice. OSVR is about choice. We are the PC to the consoles of VR. I mean, today, when you look at the PC industry, you can, you can pick any display you want, any keyboard you want, any mouse you want, any GPU you want, and put it together and experience the same thing. So similarly for the VR industry, we're trying to create um, a market where people can walk into a shop and choose uh, you know, headset A all the way to headset Z, any input device they wanted and still run the same content. Um, and hardware, we just don't stop at hardware. Um, in fact, recently we announced uh, native support for Unreal as well as CryEngine, um, giving the software platform the ability to spot Unreal powered and CryEngine games. Um, on top of that, we also have support for Steam VR. So any games actually running on um, Steam VR can run on our hardware as well. Um, we are broadening our content, uh, our ability to support different types of content. And with the backing of the OSVR partner network, I mean, we have Intel on board, we have NVIDIA, we have CryEngine, we have uh, Legendary Studios, Ubisoft, Gearbox Software, Techland. Um, which we are building out an ecosystem that will provide um, you know, unlimited content with a broad range of technologies to support that for VR users. Uh, you mentioned that you know, you're working with uh, you know, Steam and, and the buy by take it. Uh, are you guys doing, doing anything with Oculus as well? Um, not at the moment, no. Okay, gotcha. And then how can uh, users get their, their hands on one of these? It's available on Razer Store for USD $299.99 um, right now. Cool. All right. Thank you, Jivin.